Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin Ve sallallahu ve sellem ala nebiyyine Muhammed ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem emme ba'd Ayyul ahbab A question arose which was posed to Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan Hafizallahu ta'ala one of the kibar ulama the major the, who's a part of the committee of the major scholars may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him Amin ya Rabbil Alameen and one of the Jubal Sunnah that's left in this Ummah, one of the major mountains of knowledge and is known for the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he was asked, إِذَا كُنْتَ اِقْرَى الْقُرْآنِ ثُمَّ جَا شَخْصِ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَيْهِ إِذَا كُنْتُ اِقْرَى الْقُرْآنِ ثُمَّ جَا شَخْصِ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَيْهِ هل أرد عليه السلام أم أكمل الآيات؟ so the questioner asked Sheikh Salim bin Fazan, حفظ الله تعالى, if I were reading the Quran and then a person comes and they give me the salams, should I return the salams or should I finish reading the ayat that I was reading or the ayah that I was reading? The Shaykh responded by saying, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, Akmal al ayah thumma rad alayhi salam. Walladhi yakra al Qur'ana la yashra'u al salam alayhi. Lianna hadha yashghuluhu wa yakta alayhi al kira'a. Fi idha faraga min al kira'ati salama alayhi. The Shaykh responded by saying, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, he said, finish the ayat, finish the verse, then return the salams. And the one who is reading the Quran, it is not legislated for him to give the salams. And this is because he is busy. Uh, he, he is busy with, you know, reading the Quran and this should not uh, disturb or interrupt his reading. And then when he finishes reading, give the salams. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with Alman Nafi Rizqan Tayba wa Amal Muttaqabilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.